So you want to one up your live streaming by using a stream deck, but you don't want to pay the hefty price tag of one of them? Guys, I'm going to show you how to do it for free. This is a free way to get a stream deck for your live stream. For that, all that you really need is an Android device. I don't care how old is it, as long as it's working, you are set to go. And if even you don't have an old Android device, you can ask your friends, probably you can find one. It's a really easy way to set it up. And if you don't want to use your Android phone or an old Android device, you can even set it up in a Raspberry Pi. Especially useful if you get one of these small screens that they are touch displays. The complete tutorial, we're going to go into the PC and I'm going to show you how to install it. Now guys, the first part we're going to be making is in front of the PC, so open your web browser and in here you want to go and download the OBS web shop. All the links will be on the description down below. You want to go all the way down. If you're using macOS, you can download it here. This is for Windows with installer or a zip file, so we're going to choose the installer. Click on download it. Now you want to proceed to install it, click on next. And in here, be sure that the folder where you want to install it is the same folder where you have OBS installed. Once it's finished to install, of course, if you have OBS on, you will have to stop it and restart it. And now let's jump into the StreamPy homepage. In here, you want to click into downloads and go into the server side. This is going to take us to the GitHub of the StreamPy Go into where say download new servers from here, click on here. Again, if you want to install it into Linux, it's here or in Windows. Let's select the Windows folder and download it. Once it's downloaded, you want to extract the files and you just want to double click into the wrong script right here. Now this is going to come with the StreamPy server setup. You want to click on next, agree and continue. Here you can add a name to your server, I'm going to call it ECT. And this is the port where the server is going to be running, 2004, don't forget this number, click on confirm. When this window opens up, you want to allow it, I only recommend to allow it into private networks, because this is Java, and this is not encrypted. So, click on allowed access, and as you can see right here, you can see the IP address up here of the server, the port, and it says no clients connected. And for that, we want to jump now into our Android. If you're in your cell phone, you want to go into the StreamPy website. Click on the top and go into download. Find right here, you want to go into the client part of it. Click, of course, into download new client from here. Scroll all the way down until the assets. And you want to download the one that is for Android Arch64. Download it into your phone and it's going to ask you if you want to install this application. For some telephones, it's going to ask you if you want to allow third party installations, you want to accept it and click install. When this is done, you can open the application in your phone. So, guys, once you have downloaded and you open it, you can see that it's asking you for storage permission. For that, you want to open the settings on your Android device and in here, go into permissions storage and allow it or you can close this and go back into the app this is the welcome screen you are going to start the setup process for it you have to accept the agreement and now you can enter the nickname ip address and the port of the server that you have in your pc once you have everything in you want to click in confirm and this is what you're going to see in your telephone let's jump right into the pc you want to choose the client and choose the one that you have connected at the moment Choose profile, you can choose the default profile for the moment. And this is all that you have to begin with. To change this and to add more buttons into your stream pie, you want to go into the settings right here, go into clients, and in here into the default profile, you want to click on it, and here you can change the and in here you can change the name of the profile. You want to change the number of columns and rows. Let's say, for example, to make one three by three. And you want to click on save. You can close this now. And as you can see, you have right now nine buttons in your client. You can add more. Another thing that you can change if you want to is in your Android device. 
go into the settings and you can change the theme for a darker one if you want, for example a default high construct dark and click on save and close and now everything is going to be black. If the server disconnects, don't worry, you want to click OK and you want to connect once more. This is going to have it right here. And now is when you can start to add the buttons and configurations that you want into your stream pipe. For example, you can choose right here anything from stream pipe, you can create folder. This is something like work the same on the Elgato stream deck, and you can add right here one folder. You can change the name. Let's only name it folder. And in here you can change the color of the text. And down here you can change the color of the background. For example, I'm going to set mine in red. You want to click on apply changes. And now you can see you have this button that says folder. When you go inside of the folder, you're going to have again another grid of 3x3 where you can place things. Of course, in the first one is to go back. It's more like eight more buttons and you can continue to make like this. Now let's set, for example, a hotkey because I want to use it to mute my microphone. You want to take it from here and drag it into the place where you want to have it. And now we're going to show you how to select an icon. You can create them in the official Elgato Stream Deck website where you can create icons or you can do it in Photoshop. I have already made some in the Elgato website and I'm going to show you here how this looks like. So you want to click into the icon tab, go where you have downloaded your icons. And let's say, for example, I want to use this one right here. Open it. Here, if you don't want to show the text, you can click this button right here to hide it. If you only want to have the icon enabled, click Apply Changes. And now you can see, you can see now in the telephone and also in your server. And you can go on and make all the grid completely with buttons and anything else that you need. For example, you can create commands, you can open websites, you can add hotkeys, text, play audio clips, and control, of course, OBS. You can do a lot of things with this. It's a great tool if you want to stream and you want a stream deck, but you don't want to spend so much money. Well, as you could see, it's really easy to set up. And now you have a really expensive stream deck for free, or practically free, depending on if you have the required things to install them. Guys, if you still have any problems or suggestions, leave it in the comment down below. I always try to answer you all. Like the video if you find it useful. And if you're new to the channel, a subscriber is always more than welcome. It's completely free and this will really help me out. Thanks for watching once more. And like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.